Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Zhang. I'm a Chinese Canadian writer and literary translator between Mandarin Chinese and English. Uh, today I am going to present to you uh, a reading of an excerpt of the uh, short story written by Chinese um, poet and author Wu Ang. This is part of the Re Paper Republic food series. Uh, which I'm very happy to participate in. You can read the full story for free on Paper Republic website. So um, for this story, Wang told me that um, what inspired her was that in current contemporary Chinese society, there's a lot of young single urbanites who um, do not really cook. And so they order food from um, the popular delivery apps like Meituan. And um, she is very intrigued by it. And since she writes a lot of suspenseful um, fiction, she thought this would be a very good premise for our story. And so we have it. Winter is coming, Ning Dong Jiangzhi, the story where uh, a young newly single urbanite who just purchased an apartment in the suburbs of the coastal city of Qingdao in Shandong province. Um, as she gets ready to settle in her new place, um, she tries to order a quick meal off her phone and that triggers a series of chilly, unexpected events, bringing her face to face with an individual who we find out later on is kind of a psychopath. I won't, story, I won't spoil the story for you. Uh, you should go and read it yourself and enjoy all the delicious suspenseful details. So um, I will begin my reading. What to eat for dinner? She hasn't had the chance to explore any nearby farmer's markets, nor look up restaurants on Meituan, the popular food delivery app. She vaguely remembers that someone, uh, that someone on one of her local WeChat groups shared an app a couple of days ago called Meal for One in Qingdao, which specializes in single portion, reasonably priced meals. Delivery fees were waived since it's by delivery only. She downloaded the app almost immediately. Although it's chilly on the balcony, she decides to bring out her old wicker lounge chair, which fits the space surprisingly well. She drapes a thick jacket over her shoulders and lies quietly down on her side to peruse the menu. The menu selection seems rather limited at the moment. There are pictures alongside descriptions of each, each dish. In the chef's recommendation area on the homepage, her eyes are instantly drawn to the steamy Japanese sukiyaki hot pots. The simmering pots of savory broth come with a variety of fresh, ready-to-cook ingredients including thinly sliced beef, mushrooms, and tofu. There are also clams and shrimps. She usually orders sukiyaki when she dines at a Japanese restaurant. The meal typically comes with a bowl of white rice and a tasty side dish, either sunomono, sliced cucumber salad, or takawasa, octopus with wasabi. She rarely goes out to eat alone. Ever since her best friend moved from Qingdao to Yantai six months ago, she's had no one else to dine with. On the app, the sukiyaki looks to be served inside a small disposable aluminum foil pot with a lid. The vendor guarantees to keep the food warm and to deliver it within 30 to 60 minutes anywhere within the parameter of Qingdao city. She lives at the southeast end of the city on a narrow strip of coastal land that can only accommodate a small residential development. After confirming her order, she pays for it with WeChat Pay. As she types in her address, she debates whether to use her real name, but in the end decides to use her social media handle, Drowning Fish. That's the name she gave herself when she was struggling through the darkest period of her life, when her late marriage was disintegrating and she was tormented by an exhausting emotional seesaw. Imagine how suffocating it would be for a fish to live in the depths of the ocean if it were only given a pair of human-like lungs instead of gills. 
Even now, she's frequently startled awake in the middle of the night with the weight of an elephant on her chest. If she tries to scream, no sound comes out. If she tries to hold it in, she's possessed by an intense, inexplicable fear. A mouse puckers like a fish's mouth. Then a greasy, wet secretion, thick and sticky like reused frying oil, drips down the back of her throat and mixes with her gastric juices and other bodily fluids. For a long time after her divorce, she couldn't stomach anything greasy. Perhaps this was due to the late-term miscarriage she's had before the divorce. Since then, whenever she goes out to eat, she invariably orders Japanese food. And Wu Wang will also be sharing her original reading in Chinese. 晚饭吃什么？他在想，还没来得及去找附近的菜市场，也没有好好看看美团外卖。他恍惚提起前两天有个本地群分享了青岛一人食的小程序，主打一个人也可以点的价格合理的外卖，说是不需要配送费。他当